Hello everybody, welcome back to the Survival Kingdom. In today's episode, I'm starting on a new project because if you're following my Twitter, you saw that I've been getting a little burnt out with the fantasy village um, up there, which is currently not rendered because my render distance is low. But I'm going to be starting an underground city in today's episode. So if I jump down here, there's a secret little passageway. And it's in here. This room is going to get decorated and I'm not using it for much currently. But I set up this little bubble elevator system, so if I jump down here, then it takes me to this area, and this is where it's going to be starting. So there's a bubble elevator which uh, can take me back up to the surface here, and if I want to get out, then I just go in like that. But as you can see, I did this little bit of hollowing it out. Um, I'm going to keep extending it, but I decided on the dimensions of each tunnel. Um, and this is kind of gonna be based a little bit off of the idea of Dallas Med. Uh, now I only watched a uh, part of one of his videos about it, but I kind of took the block palette for it of bricks and oak logs and stone brick, but I don't remember anything else that he did. So other than the palette, everything else is gonna be my idea. I just wanted to put it out there though, if anyone thinks that I'm copying his idea, I'm not. It's just taking inspiration from it. But I do have all of these resources gathered up and I'm going to keep digging some and then I'm going to start showing how I'm going to be laying it out. So what I want to have is that at the bottom it's a little kind of canal lake shaft type thing. So basically the only way that you're going to be able to get around the city is by boat. So there's going to be this bottom layer and then this layer is going to have water in it and then the walls are going to be made of bricks and beams of logs and stuff like that. So I'm going to do a little bit more digging and extend this down a little bit and then I'm going to start putting in the detail to show how it's going to look. Okay, so I've done a little bit more digging and I've extended the tunnel quite a bit. Now I don't have a beacon yet so I kind of want to do that at some point. I'll probably get it off camera though because this series is focused on building and not as much combat and the technical side of things. But I got this done. So with my shulker box, I'm going to take this stone brick and lay it down on the bottom. Basically, wherever the water will be touching, I want it to be stone brick, so these bottom layers uh, and this. So it'll probably be this layer, this layer, this layer, that layer, and that layer are all going to be stone brick. And then it's going to be normal bricks on the walls and the ceiling, probably, and then there will be oak beams wrapping around it. So I'm going to get started on laying the stone brick down. Okay, so I finished laying in the groundwork with stone brick, and now what I think I need to do is get some buckets of water and start making infinite water sources and filling it in. Okay, so I have my two buckets of water, and I'm going to start by just putting in the water like this, and then I can grab it and keep grabbing infinite water sources. Okay, so now the bottom is filled in, and so now what I need to do is fill in the top, and I should probably put these on the walls so that the water doesn't sweep them away. So this is just going to be a simple matter of filling them in like this, and grabbing water sources, and placing them in like that. Okay, so after not very much time, because that is super easy, um, that is now done. And so now what I need to do is start filling in these walls with bricks. So basically, just the three high walls on the side are just all going to be filled in with bricks. So I'm going to do that and cut to once I'm done. So I've now filled in all the walls and I decided to do the ceiling too because I think it'll look better that way. Um, and these torches aren't going to stay here, I'll probably add lanterns eventually. But I need to figure out what to do with this side. And I think I'll probably just put oak logs running all the way down. And I'll have uh, beams that like run all the way up too. So I'll give you a quick example of what that'll look like and then I'll do the whole thing just like that so it's pretty simple uh, but once you have these like every six blocks it'll add so much more depth and it'll look really cool so I'm gonna add all of those all the way down in right now so I got my vine farm growing some more vines because I want to replace some of the stone brick with mossy uh, stone brick because um, it's next to water and algae and stuff like that but I brought some granite down because I want to start texturing the walls by throwing some granite in. So basically, if I just knock out probably two or three blocks in each one, then it'll make it look so much more detailed and not, not smooth, kind of, if you know what I mean. Um, and it'll add a lot more depth and realism to it. So I'm going to add that all the way down. So I've gotten the granite in all the way down, and I put some in the ceiling too, um, and it looks really good. 
So now what I think I want to do is just start laying out the tunnels for the other areas. So I'm not quite sure how I want to do this yet. I'll definitely need to draw a blueprint, sort of, for what I want it to look like. But basically, some of the different sections are just going to have other uh, highways kind of going down it. And then there's going to be roads branching off of that. This is probably going to be like the main central street, and it's going to go down super far. So in between this time and the next episode, I'll probably extend it super far. Um, and I may uh, uh, draw up the blueprint and kind of dig out some of them and like lay this texturing in, but I won't do anything as far as building like actual shops or houses or anything. So I hope you all found this episode really enjoyable. It's definitely something new, which I haven't done before, but I think it's turning out really good. The block palette really looks awesome. So if you're excited to see another episode of this, make sure to subscribe and leave a like down below. Um, I wanted to have a few different building projects going on in this world because it's easy to get burnt out in one. So I'll probably do an episode of this and then mix it up with an episode of the Fantasy Sky Kingdom. And I may also get started on another uh, project as well, which you'll have to see what it is. But until next time, thanks for watching.